Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <sighs> It is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hair, yeah, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Shit, Barnabas is fucking powerful, even though he hasn't transformed or anything. The only thing he did was pull out his sword. Is that his transformation? He pulls out his sword? Like Clyde when he used a uh, Ramu. Or Rama, I don't know. He, he pulls out his staff. But this other bitch pulled out his sword. Fuck. He that powerful? He 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 also took down Chill. 
Even though he didn't transform. But she did. Holy crap. Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Uh, give me a sec. I'm gonna check around. See if there's like anything like new. Like for the store. Let me tell you a story, Clive. All right. Them rumors wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day... One day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. He told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. He said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint Gil. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest dam in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest dam. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. Oh, you do have something new. Clive. Yeah. What you have? Go on then. Yeah. By three. My HP will go down by three. Come again. Give me a second. I'm not what about him? So what do I owe the honor? For saying for you, dear. Ruin blade? What the fuck? Stronger. Okay. No scratches, right? Ruin belt. Not bad, if I do say so myself. No scratches, right? There we right. go. All so. new in this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> the end of the tip. It looks so fucking weird. <laughs> fuck, it, I always look, it, it looked all badass and at the end. Fuck. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> fuck. What did I get again? Uh. Oh yeah, that little thing right there. Oh, the, the hangman uh, signboard. I got that. What oh, the little? Yeah, that. What the fuck is that? Might be on the other uh, outer seas. Gifted to Clive by Charon for the assistance in clearing her name. Oh, all right, all right. What you got? What will it be today? You got. How may I help you today? Rescued. No, I were rescued a friend, but she'd been kidnapped. Intervene. Battle. Okay. All 
battle, intervene, enemies, warship, master, servant, battle, we killed them. Study it well, Clive. They're still here? I thought that model, you know, like, went back to their home country or their home kingdom. One must understand one's place in the world. Thus ends today's lesson. Okay, what you got? What you got, Moogle? New enemies? How many? Two. What the fuck? A motherfucking... What, is this a raptor or a chocobo? Looks like a chocobo to me. Maybe... Think of a wild chocobo that haunts not only the uh, nearby uh, badlands, but also in their dreams. We exhibit a fiercely rarely seen in species that has been ripped more than a dozen of their comrades from a blizzard of corn growing and feast on their flesh. The bird is far past taming. It must meet. It must be put down. There will be men in black. Fuck. I gotta do this, but I don't feel confident. Especially this, the level S. Clive? But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Is that guy haven't woken up yet, Dion? Don't to my boils if Tyre ain't around, eh? Your diary today, Clive visits the infirmary to have a dress decoration on his left forearm, clean the stitches, the wound, and instructed him to rest the the arm so that he could have it healed. But now, hour, uh, but now that an hour later, he was leaving on another mission. This must be the hundredth time he disobeyed my instructions. The next time he's going for my treatment, I'm trying, I'm tying him to the bed. What happened to Dion? The fuck? Did he leave? Ah. Uh, Looks like he left. Why is he up here? It says here that once turned. Oh, he's in there. I don't know. I just don't fucking see him no more. Amber and the Lazarus are gone. Do you think Mid's ship will ever sail? You saw that work of I haven't gone to the top. How the fuck does it look like? Oh. Suspicious. Have you noticed there are more ether floods these days? Some say the skies are to blame. But then, there were ether floods before all this, weren't there? Makes you wonder. Yeah, it's kind of suspicious. Let's see. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Uh, Mitchell already have read it. 
I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. I took them? Katil searching in Mid's dungeon. What the We've fuck? We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. What do you want to search for? Oh. Fuck. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mid's. Mid, I know you like your riddles, so I can reckon you appreciate this one. All my invention, this one is the best. So when choosing a place of rest, I recalled your op opus, daughter dearest. Now it's asleep in the, uh, and now it sleeps there in first. I'm gonna have to work on the last rhythm. All right, good luck. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. But what would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. First opus. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than more. 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together. It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. We want over there. How are we supposed to do our job? What this? I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestra. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. That's a clue. I heard something. <sighs> something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it! Sid fixed it! He more than fixed it! Yeah! New music! Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Don't look at me. I'll 
can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Like father, like daughter. Shit, I love up so much. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? I waste here oh. the further the flagship sails I have to get back he, he did leave I thought he must have been like in another room but fuck god damn it there's two side side quests god damn it but there's one plus sign I like the plus sign it means like a good weapon or like an upgrade on my gear yeah, yeah. all right Clive Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. And you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but... I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. What's wrong with you? Always bringing stuff or mentioning stuff that he, he, he you like he, he you ruin his fucking the way he works. Why well, you need help? I helped you before. She can't keep this up much longer. What the fuck? Oh yeah, that guy. He's already bringing stuff like a like whatever. And the blacksmith will be fucking angry, not angry, but jealous that someone's much better than him. Glory to Griga. There you are. And not a moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I 
pray you have better luck than I did. Well, Taya, Rodriguez worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The Crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You'd do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I... I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. I want to know who's, who's he. If it was me lying there, I know he'd do me the same kindness. I want to want to know more about the man too. Fuck! Another plus sign. God damn it! Bloody hell, Clive! Not this again. Oh, and you got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring. And that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. Sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Vast has improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer is another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret. I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride and focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. 
But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is, then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravozd, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravozd as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. And who the hell is you? He's a surly soaker. What will you help me out? Will you upgrade my my icons or you what are you? No, you don't help me with my icons. You will help me with like potions or stuff. Maybe make me my healing like powers or healing uh effectiveness of my potion it heals me more. Sid! Do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. <sighs> and all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Damn. You want me to hunt a creature now? All right. Well, what am I hunting? Uh. I hear your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Koopo. How the fuck do you know that? Every carrot of the Rose area is anything like the one that got posted on the board. I can see why, Koopo. What? That one? Oh! That she fucking named this shit Carrot? Does it have lips? What the fuck? If you should come across to the carrot. <laughs> Protruding from the marsh of the three reeds, do not attempt to pull it from the swampy soil. Is in truth another root vegetable that entirely ex uh, exotic species of a morble that has used a modified carrot like vine as to lure the jawed prey close by before emerging from the earth and swallowing them whole. Cruel way of nature to turn these time of privation a privation of her advantage. God damn bastards. The Whispering Water Rosaria. Alright, here we are. Where's the summon bitch? There's carrot. I had lipsticks. Could have been just any mobile credit. Alright then. Oh 
already? What what a rage? Hey, bitch. Go on the ground, he's over the bitch. How much damage I do with this? Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot to fucking upgrade the fucking Titan. God damn it! That's what I forgot. Using crafting. Uh, that was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this fine back to the yard. Hey, sir. Where the fuck is this? Oh. There's no enemies in this area, are they? We took care of them already. So there shouldn't be no enemies. It's so quiet. Fuck. Oh, I'm kind of freaked out. It's quiet. The only thing I could hear is my fucking tor uh, Torgo. Fucking breathing hard. 
Larry, bitch. Oh, this one? Who we had to fight? Rodrigue could have mentioned his spiders would be the size of curls. Chance, damn it. That's it. I don't know. Hopefully one will be enough. Rodrigo will have prepared the other ingredients by now. Thought that, you know, like a mother spider or a big giant spider comes out. Bigger than these. Alright. Now you. Where the fuck are you? Uh you're over there. Fuck. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. I, I think they're gonna be attacked, aren't they? Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! <laughs> it's passing by here. I think these people are gonna be attacked, aren't they? Oh, we're not welcome. Kicked down already. No, this charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. Ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely... I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through! All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. Yeah, I promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? Go on then. Much obliged. So this is Dravaged. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the Chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. 
All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. He'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. I want to know what the fuck happened to well, you and your friend, or how are we going to earn our keep? Or is this, uh, your Zeltan? What the fuck happened? Do you guys like? Why hasn't Papa come back yet? He's helping the chief with something very important. You go back inside now. You guys like fighting who could inherit your master will all that bullshit or their inheritance? What the fuck happened? Hotter, hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right, I'm going. Chief, you've got to do something. If this keeps up, we'll be ruined. <laughs> They're fucked. They're fucked anyways. They're using fucking bears to do their dirty work. God, motherfuckers. Well, if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut you your know? hole. The chief will think of something. No, Blackthorn. I think it was a wise choice leaving them. They're all a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshd. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. Who labor in a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravoj in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of... Doing what hell. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. 
You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest Smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shared Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravorst will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by art. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Find me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, man. God damn it, Blackthorn, you should have let them die. You should have let them, like, suffer for being assholes. Let's make this quick, shall oh. we? Oh, is that it? I thought we were going to have fight multiple. No mistakes. So time I did that, killing him in like not one move, but like by using everything on him. I dare say that would be enough for a decent set of bellows. All right, we're back. That'll do, girl. Are they, are, are they fighting again? What's going on What's here? What's this all about then? Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louts to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravosht is saved. Sorry about earlier. I, uh, take back everything I said. That thing you've built us is... An honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet coal cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. 
Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravost needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's gonna be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Hey. That's pretty much all the side quests. Let's go back to Hideaway. Let's see. Who should I go first? You. Cole said it was an army of a cash. I want to know who's the guy in the bed. Was he like a friend who saved her? Like he risked his life to save her. Like maybe she got captured. Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Taya's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm... so proud of you. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigo. And you, Clive. I'll see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. 
A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And the kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bear or soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift give the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. Oh, it was his mentor. Okay. That was like some kind of... Like... You know, like maybe like a soldier like risking uh, his life to save hers. Wait, how much? Points I need to get. How may whatever. I help you today, Clive? Come to claim your just desserts. Ah. Best of luck out there. I think there, this Sid. pretty much. Maybe this one, like this side quest I'm gonna do or complete. Gonna give me what I want. I wanna know what the fuck that yellow means. It has to say legendary. It has to be legendary. Like common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary. God damn it. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to have to help welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I'd nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Pick old Cinder. How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. Well, imagine that. Yeah, uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes. But I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. You know, always at the end, he said... I'm happy to uh, uh, have you back. It's pretty much like the same everything every time he says that when we like completed it. Ouroboros? What the fuck? What do I need for that? Yep. What do I want? need to get Ouroboros? Is it this one? Can't be this one, is it? Right burn. No, it's not that one. Lord Boros, it's not. It's Excalibur. Don't cry. Fuck, it's Lord Boros. They're right here. It is. What the fuck do I need you? 
Stone Tongue, Comet Feather. But it's yellow. What does it mean? I oh, fucking shit. I got the flower. Lion's cloth. I, I think I know what it is. I think. How do I get these? Fuck. And. Gotta talk to this guy. What he's gonna give me? He's gonna upgrade me of something. I don't know what he's gonna do. What are you gonna give me? Uh, Sid, I uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Here. Yeah. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, uh, when, when I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Just as I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more. But this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morganbeards. And would you believe... Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. They're not gonna, you know, mutate or anything. You know, like, whatever the, the tendrils. Like, I don't know, affects the fucking flowers and fucking goes like mini, mini monsters and come and try to eat us. I knew it. Increase our, our, our potions now. You have attained a file of a evergreen organ beard extract. Further increase the potency of the most consumable both potions and high potions. Now it restores even more HP. Fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Alright. What'd you have? Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. A gift. In close you will find an item of high and strange order. One which will acquire neither thing for recompense. Consider as a reminder of where loyalty uh are best placed. What the fuck is this talisman? What does it do? All yours. Talisman of priming. All done? Is it like where I transform? I stay longer? That trans my transformation? What the fuck is it? Freeze Lionheart's tonic duration by 30 seconds. Freeze Lionheart? What the fuck is Lionheart? Okay. I know what it is. I, uh, I don't need it. It's like a potion that increased my, well, not increase it, but like, like fill up my uh, my limit break. Like, it fills it up. It's like a potion to fill up the my limit break. God damn it! I thought it was gonna be something better, like something like make me uh, last longer in my limit break. But no, it's to, it's for my fucking potions. <laughs> 